Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. And welcome to part three of the amazing cell phone clutch purse. And I like to call number three, putting it all together. Okay, so if you are just seeing this video, you need to go check out the other two videos that come before this one because you are going to need this piece, which is the change purse piece and the ID piece. And you're gonna need this piece, which is the credit card pocket piece. You're gonna need these two pieces already done. Now, if you have these pieces done, you're also gonna need a piece of fabric. And this piece of fabric is eight and a half by 15 and a half. So it's eight and a half by 15 and a half. And this is gonna be our final clutch. Now, you are also gonna need for your cell phone, you're gonna need a piece that is eight and a half by four. Now the pieces before this have been three and a half. This is four inches. Very, very, very important. All right, for this you are also going to need your duct tape. You're going to need your um, Velcro, sticky back Velcro. You're going to need an exacto knife. Please use caution. Need some scissors and very, very important, you are going to need a ruler. This is important this time around. Everything else, we've been pretty cool about not having to have a ruler, but this time we need a ruler. All right, you ready to put this whole thing together? All right, now remember, when you do yours, if you wanna put the change purse in the center, that's fine. This is all up to you how you place it together. But I'm gonna show you the way that I did it and the way that worked the best for me. Taking my change purse piece, I am placing it right here, lining up the bottom, and then I'm going to take some strips of tape and I'm gonna go half on, half off, flip it over, and seal it. Now, here's the thing about this purse. When you come back and embellish, you can go as crazy as you want to on the outside, but I would suggest using the same color right now for just attaching all your pieces. Okay, now I'm going to attach my bottom, because if I don't attach my bottom, well, we won't go there. But if I don't attach my bottom, all my money falls out, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to get rid of this little extra piece because I can't have that on my bottom. And now I'm going to take a long strip, and I'm going to place it half on, half off on the bottom. And I'm going to make sure that I'm actually, if you can see, I'm on the outer sides there. I've got a little extra hanging off. I want to do that because I want to make sure that I really seal this bottom. This is really, really important. So I flip it over and I seal that really, really, really good. Now I've used a piece of tape that is half an inch wide, but you can use a little bit more if you want it to be even more secure. Okay, so I'm going to cut off those little extra pieces and now I've got this side. Now, this is the only tricky side because it has this accordion. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to tape down your accordion. You only want to tape down this little side here. So for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to measure ahead of time to make sure that I've got it right there. So I am sealing from this edge to this edge here by placing it along the underside. I'm not taping down that beautiful, wonderful pocket there. Because that, that's the tricky thing about those accordion pocket folds. If you tape it shut, then it doesn't do any good, right? Okay, so I'm gonna flip this over and trim that little excess off. And now my accordion it's very secure in there and it's not going anywhere. And now I've got a place that I can put my money. So my money goes here. Okay, what I like to do to make sure that I get the placement of this right, is I like to make sure that I fold this up and give it a good crease so that I'm not folding or placing this anywhere where my fold is going to be. Because if I, am, if I do this and I put this in too close, then what'll happen is I won't be able to fold it nicely. So what I wanna do is just fold this up and crease it. And fold it up and crease it. And fold it up and crease it, just to make sure that I'm good. See that crease? I'm just gonna use that to line this up. And 
Once again, using that half on, half off technique. Now these are, because these are credit card pockets, I do want to make sure that I get these secured really nice and tight and that my cards aren't going to pop out. So I'm going to use a little bit of a thicker piece of tape and I'm going from the bottom over those pockets. Now just at this point in time, you just want to make sure that you're not, there we go, we're perfect, making sure that we are uh, not making our pockets too small when we add this tape. Okay, so I'm just going to flip this over. That was half on, half off. And do the same thing on the other side. You know, this is the point where you can take your, your card and stick it in there right now just to make sure. And line it up, half on, half off. Flip it over. There you go. Okay, now we're ready for our cell phone. So I need my cell phone for this part. Or actually, I should say I need my sister's cell phone because I still have an iPhone 3. <gasps> I know, dinosaur, right? Tiny. Okay, but this, everybody else has these big phones now. Okay, so just to show you, I've got my pocket for money here. Oh, I'm glad I did that because guess what I forgot to do? I forgot to seal my bottom. You know me in those bottoms. Okay, so let me cut a small piece here. Oh, actually, I've got one right here. And we're just going to seal this bottom nice and tight. If you've got a fingernail, you can rub against that end there and just really seal it. That's good. Okay. Got a place for money here. Got a place for money here. Got lots of places for cards. And now it's the cell phone. Now this is that bigger piece. Now once again, fold, fold. Make sure you know where your crease is. Your crease is here. I'm going to line this up in here. Now for this one, I'm going to do this fancy kind of triangular cut. So what I want to do is find that crease and I want to measure up an inch. So I've got my ruler. Remember I told you the ruler would be important for this part. I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to measure up one inch right there. And then you see this part here? This right here is my upper edge. That is three inches. So I'm going to measure over three inches right there. Get a little dot. So now what I'm going to do is line my ruler up along these two lines. That dot and that dot to make a line. And I'm going to use my X-Acto knife. Just cut straight on down. And this piece should just peel away. go. Oh, you know what, it might be time for me to change my blade. Okay, there we go. You always know when it's time to change your blade when you get a little bit of um, that squidgy happening or it doesn't cut all the way through. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cell phone pocket. As you can see, it's measured in about two inches here. Well, it's actually about an inch and a half, really. So what I'm going to do is line it up, and then I'm going to measure an inch and a half on this side. See that? So that it hangs over, and I'm just going to slide my piece an inch and a half that way. Great. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is cut this edge to match. So I'm going to flip her over. And using my ruler, just cut this because what you want is that same angle all the way down. Okay, I'm going to slide this down, that inch and a half. And that inch and a half is so that my uh, phone has some place to go. Again, if I was to put it all the way up here, then my poor phone would be sticking out. Nobody wants their phone sticking out of their clutch purse because then it'll fall out. And that would not be good. So. Let me just seal this up real quick. There we go. And let me seal the other end. Like that. And we're going to trim off this little extra here and seal it. 
Now, I'm not going to take the time to come back and embellish. I'm going to show you how to add the Velcro. And then I'm going to let you get as creative as you can get. And if you have some great ideas, which I know you will, because I've seen some of the work that you guys do out there, make sure you send me a picture at sophie-world.com because I would love to see what you are making. Okay, now you can see, got a spot for my cell phone. Cool? Okay, this folds up like this, this folds up like this. Now all we need is the Velcro closure. I like to use a big piece of Velcro for this, and the reason for that is because I've got all my worldly possessions inside a little clutch, and I don't want to lose them. So, big piece of Velcro. Putting it at the edge here, peel back, and fold her over to make sure I got a nice, solid connection. Open her up, give it a good rub, and there you go. Your own fabulous, amazing cell phone clutch purse. And this is something you've created for yourself, for your friends, for anybody that you love. For more fabulously amazing and very, very, very tricky <laughs> complicated projects, because I know you guys like these more advanced projects, come and check us out at sophie-world.com. And remember, make it as pretty as you want it.